two, three, go. Well, my initial reaction to the comprehensive spending view is, well, it could have been a lot worse. There's still a substantial amount of funding available for new social housing, uh, and I welcome the initiative to look at intermediate market rents. Although I do have some concerns over the housing benefit impact and also a potential negative impact on mobility for social housing tenants moving between the products. If anything, the Comprehensive Spending Review also emphasises the need for social landlords to adopt their wider role and their corporate social responsibility. We need to know our customers, know the needs of our customers and provide the services that they require. We need to emphasise the support we provide for vulnerable tenants and ensure we play our full role in financial and social inclusion. The cuts in local authority funding again emphasise the need for us to work in partnership together to ensure that the communities in which we're based actually do get the services they need uh, and they are actually delivered in a cost effective manner. On a final note, a very, very positive thing I welcome is the increase in funding for adult apprenticeships. We at the Trust have had a number of adult apprenticeships here over the last 12 to 18 months and I can honestly say it's had a massive positive impact on both those people and our organisation.